friends, I am finally sitting down to edit my uh, vlog that I did when we went camping. Um, we actually went camping Labor Day weekend, which for those of you who don't live in the United States, that is the first weekend in September. Um, and I had planned to get it uh, edited and uploaded for you the week after that. Uh, but then that's when my brother went in for his biopsy and everything just went downhill from there. I've already explained about that. If, for those of you who don't know, my oldest brother, um, I'm five out of six children. He was number one. Uh, early in September was diagnosed with glioblastoma, which is a brain tumor. And three weeks later, he had pa has passed away, he passed away. So it was very, 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 very quick, very, very, very sudden, very unexpected. So it kind of threw the family into a tailspin. And so I've been, I took time off from uh, vlogging and from doing YouTube. And now the dust is kind of settled and I'm ready to try to get back to some sort of normalcy in my life. And uh, anyway, so I'm finally sitting down to edit this video and I realized that I needed to film a, a kind of an intro and then an outro at the end and I may need to do some commentary along the way. So I will probably break back in now and then with um, some video explaining what you will see next and I'll probably do, probably do some voiceover. So anyway, this is our very first camping trip in our new to us camper. We um, went to the only place that we could find a campsite. <laughs> um, camping has become very, very popular this year and, because nobody can do anything else. And we kind of decided at a last minute to go camping. Well, we had kind of planned on going camping all summer. We got the camper in July, I believe, but we've had had to do some work and stuff on it so it took us a while to get it ready to go and so anyway we went to a place called Indiana Beach it's in Monticello Indiana and it's a campground that's connected to an amusement park but to go to the amusement park you had to pay extra and it would have cost us about $130 for our family just to go for one day and we're not big roller coaster riders and we don't like those kinds of rides so we didn't do the amusement park part of it we just did the campground part of it um and it was a little bit interesting i'll tell you it was a little interesting <laughs> we've gone to this campground before but it was years ago under different management our children were a lot smaller we did go over to the amusement park side of it when our kids were little because they had kitty rides and stuff. And so yeah, it was a little bit different. So without further ado, let's get into the footage from the first week in September. Hi friends, we are waiting for Travis to get home. And when he gets home and gets a shower, we are gonna go jump in the camper and we are going camping this weekend. Um, I It's gonna be a no makeup weekend so this is the way you're gonna see me. I debated about bringing makeup and then I thought, nah, I'm not gonna even worry about it. So Olivia and I have been working all day today. I took today off from work so I could get the stuff ready um, and, and packed in the camper. We've been kind of packing things a little bit as we go this whole week. And today we finished getting everything that needed to be packed, packed. And we got the house cleaned that laundry basket back there just needs to go back downstairs um, but uh, yeah um, I probably won't video a whole lot until we get there but maybe I will video a bit on the road um, on the way to our camping trip we are going to Indiana Beach in Monticello Indiana
are getting closer to the campground. Um, Monticello is right near a uh, lake. Uh, and this is like the, a glimpse of the lake, or this might be the river. There's a river that runs into the lake. I'm not sure what the river is called, but I know the lake's name is Lake Schaefer. And so this will be some footage of different pictures from the lake. Uh, Monticello is about an hour and a half south of us. So it was a nice trip in the camper, but not overwhelmingly long. Sally loves the camper. In fact, I think she really remembers camping from years ago when we went. And here we are entering Indiana Beach. They've had these flags, this line of flags, for as long as I can remember. In fact, all of this entryway part of the campground looked exactly the same. It was 15 years ago. 15 years ago the last time we went camping here and uh, yeah in fact the whole campground pretty much looked the same to us there was a lot more like um, permanent campers there um, but yeah for the most part Indiana Beach looked the same Happy, we don't have to buy more lights. Well, still do with an upgrade. Our lights are a little. I need to cut the. Our camper has a built in gas grill. You just pull it out from the compartment and you hook it up to a propane tank that's inside the uh, camper and you can cook on it. It's really pretty neat. We only used it one night. This is our first night. We're having brats, um, but we wanted to, we didn't want to have to cook over a fire because we got there kind of late in the day. So Scott just cooked these brats on the gas grill. It was really nice. And uh, yeah, it's really a nice little addition to the camper. This is the trolley that goes from the campground over to the amusement park. Um, they've definitely upgraded them back 15 years ago. It was an open air trolley and now they've got these closed buses.
at this campground, there wasn't a whole lot to do as far as, like, there was no hiking trails or anything like that. Um, the main attraction of this campground, I think, is just basically a place to stay when you go to the amusement park. But we did go for some walks, and here we are. We're walking down to the boat launch. Um, back years ago, they had a ferry that would take you over to the um, amusement park, just like there were, were the trolleys. You could take a ferry boat. So we, were, we walked down to the ferry dock, and we saw where the old ferry dock was. They're no longer in commission right now, but uh, there are rumors that they're going to fix them up and um, have them going again, but I'm not sure when that will be. On Sunday, this truck came through the campground. It was, um, Scott said, oh, it sounds like an ice cream truck, but it was actually a Kona ice truck where you could get like these ice slushies and they had all different flavors. And so we were like kids running out to the ice cream truck. We ran over and we each got um, a, an icy. They were really, really good. I can't remember what flavor I got. Um, I can't remember any of the flavors really, but um, they were all very, very good. And it was a really nice, refreshing treat for the afternoon. We're going to have bacon cheeseburgers cooked on the grill. Or fire, I should say, not the grill. So we got bacon in the cooking baskets right now. And then pretty soon Scott's going to put the uh, burgers in there in a basket. It's gonna be yummy. One of the other things that you could do in the park was they had this um, water park thing and it had this giant bucket that was filling with water and it, once it got to a certain point it would dump on whoever was below it and the kids they just kind of kind of instinctively knew when this thing was about to to dump and so they would all gather down at the base of it and so I stood there for probably five minutes waiting for this thing to dump and of course I am um, editing most of that out but it was pretty cool <laughs> And up near where that wa little water park thing is, they also have a miniature golf course and an arcade. We had kind of kicked around the idea of maybe doing some miniature golf, but when we got up there, they were pretty busy. There was quite a long line, and we only had like an hour or so um, free, so we didn't think we had time to do it. But yeah, here's a little glimpse of the miniature golf. Sally got a lot more exercise than she's used to, and boy, was she always so tired by the end of the day. Tonight we are having chicken over the fire. 
And I've got potatoes cooking in the microwave inside the camper. And we're going to have corn. So that's what we're having for dinner tonight. fun things we did in this camping trip was sit around the campfire. I always love doing that. That's like one of my favorite parts of camping. But this particular camp out, we had a little bit of an issue with our neighbors. I know you can't see my face very well, but uh, I consider myself very non-racial and non you know prejudiced or judgmental or anything like that but just listen for a little bit for just a few seconds to what we've had to listen to every night there's a group of uh, Hispanic Americans or Hispanics I don't know a huge group of them camping across the way and that you should have heard them last night. It was so bad we ended up having to go in because it was so bad. But can you hear that? That's calm and quiet compared to what it's been. Not nearly as loud. But every single night, it starts at like 6 and goes clear till 11 when they have to be quiet. It's crazy. And like I said last night, it was so loud that we had to go in. We went in about nine and just watched a movie. So that clip you just saw of me um, explaining the neighbors and the noise, that did not even do justice at all. The, the microphone on my camera just didn't pick it up, but you could hear it just, bit, just a little bit in that clip, but I'm telling you, it was so <laughs> loud it was so loud and it was all like um, Caribbean style music which I really like that style of music but I don't like it for hours and hours and hours and hours at very high decibels and then it would get into like the trumpets and you know it was it was very very loud in fact the night before we were sitting around the campfire and it just kept getting louder and louder. And Scott and I were like yelling at each other across the fire. And we're like, I really wish I knew what was going on over there. So we got up and we walked over. And it was just, I mean, 30, at least 30 tents on about probably six different um, campsites. And there was this giant tent right in the middle and they had like the strobe lights and the dance disco balls and the whole bit and they were just having a party i'm telling you and it was every night every night they did that um the night before that clip that i just showed you it got so loud that we're like we have to go in we went into our camp camper and just watched a movie and the campground rules are that things have to be quiet by 11. And so Scott and I both said, you know, if they don't calm this down by 11, we're gonna have to call the camp office and be like the stick in the muds that put a kibosh on this big giant party they were having. Uh, but thankfully they did. It was a little bit after 11, maybe 11.15 or so. And it finally, finally stopped. But uh, it started about six o'clock and went to 11 and it just, got louder. I don't know if alcohol was involved, but as the nights progressed, it, they got louder and louder. It was, it was an experience, let me tell you. I don't know if you can tell, because it's so dark, but Travis is cooking bacon over the fire. And it is windy out here. <laughs> Look is blowing in my face. <laughs> oh. 
Olivia just made a pudgy pie with s'more ingredients. Which sounds delicious. She's going to share it with me. I'll see if I can get a picture of it. Get a, bring the flashlight over here. Ooh, that looks yum. Yum, yum, yum. Cut it and then uh, we'll take a show it too. What it looks like. Ooh, that looks delicious. I'll take, I cut it in half again. I'll just eat a fourth of it. It's still really hot. Yum. The other thing that was very interesting about this campground was and especially in, when you compare and contrast from 15 years ago when we were there, like 15 years ago, you would see people out on their bicycles riding around and around the campground. Well, 15 years later, I hardly saw any bicycles, but we saw, I can't even count how many golf carts. There were golf carts everywhere in fact the campground themselves rented golf carts to people and the big thing was to decorate up your golf cart with lights and have this giant boom box i don't know if that's what they're called anymore but <laughs> something to play music on and have your music blaring as loud as it can go and then you drive around the campground and just share the joy of your particular <laughs> flavor of music that you like. We heard, we heard it all. We heard country, we heard rap, we heard rock and roll, we heard uh, Latin, we heard all kinds of music. Which is fine, I guess, but not everybody appreciates th those particular styles of music. <laughs> so... Uh, the next clip you'll see is a little bit, just a tiny few seconds of the, the caravan. Every night, they would, there would be a line of golf carts with their lights and their music, and each golf cart's playing a different music, a different style of music, but they get in a line and they just ride around and around the campground. some reason but yeah caravan of golf carts around and around Loud music and around <laughs> with their music blaring oh my goodness it's been quite the experience at this campground I have a feeling if we were in prohibition we wouldn't be seeing or hearing this stuff going on yeah there's quite a bit of alcohol involved with we're, we're thinking and then the last night over at the amusement park part of Indiana Beach, they had a huge firework, fireworks display. And I don't know if they typically did this every night or if they did it because it was Labor Day weekend or what, but they had a huge uh, fireworks display. Well, if you walked down to the boat launch that you saw earlier in this video, the ferry dock, where the old ferry dock was, if you walked down there, it was kind of like a peninsula that went out and you could look over and you could see just right above the trees. If the trees had been a little shorter, we would have had a better view, but we would you could see the fireworks. So the family went down there and we took Sally, which I wasn't even thinking because she doesn't normally have like fear of loud noises. She's never had a problem with loud noises. So we just took her down there with us. And it wasn't just our idea. There were hundreds of people, hundreds of campers that were down there in their golf carts down there. And it had an excellent, they had an excellent fireworks show. For some reason, my camera kept going blurry. I don't know if it was because of the flashes of light from the fireworks. Um, so I'll try to cut out as much of the blurry parts of the of the uh, fireworks as I can. And then the other problem is that I didn't catch the finale on 
video because by the time the finale got there, poor Sally was so upset. Um, what we ended up doing was Olivia held her and you know if you heard of those things called a thunder jacket you can get for your dog it basically like makes them makes them feel tight and feel secure so Olivia was like holding Sally kind of tightly um, like a thunder jacket type thing and I had to turn my my camera off and um, put my hands over her ears and I held her ears as tight as I could to block out the sound. And she she did okay, but I'm glad the fireworks didn't last any longer than they were because she really was starting to act uh, very upset. And then of course the finale, it's just like boom, 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 boom. And yeah, she was, she was kind of freaked out. So I didn't get the uh, finale, but um, here's a, just a little bit of the fireworks. I guess that was the right spot after all. that was our very first camping trip experience we went for three nights and four days and it was different I mean the campground I wasn't altogether thrilled with there wasn't a lot to do and like I explained we had some pretty noisy neighbors um, it wasn't the peaceful state park sitting around the campfire at night type of experience that we're used to but it was a chance to get out get away from things get away from social media um, it was a, a chance to see other culture really because of the um, Hispanic community that was right across the the street or in the next aisle over and it was a chance to try out our camper and from this experience we've discovered that we love our camper we love it it is perfect um, it's perfect. Uh, there's just, there's nothing I would change about it. We just absolutely love it. And of course, you know, we had a notebook and a, a pen and paper and we jot down, oh, we need to get 
an extra trash can for the bedroom or we need you know we would make notes of things that we wished we had or that we forgot to pack um, that kind of thing so it was a really fun uh, dry run you might want to say for our camper it was a campground that was not too terribly far away it was a really nice drive and um, it was an experience and it's something we'll never forget we just had to laugh I mean the noise level we just kind of ended up having to laugh about it because there's there was nothing we could do about it um so anyway you know there's no point in getting upset because it is what it is so anyway it probably will be a while before we go back to indiana beach um we did dis decide as a family that um, if we do go back we will save the money and we'll go spend one day over at the amusement park because otherwise there's not a whole too terrible much to do um, at the campground itself anyway friends i hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoy my our camping adventures give this video a thumb up thumbs up we have one more trip planned for this year and then next year we're planning a lot of a lot of trips a lot of fun things and so I enjoy not only documenting these for memories for us to look back on as a family but to share with you my friends thanks so much for watching and we will talk to you later bye bye